Hey beautifuls, I'm just Jackie is here. If you're not familiar with me and this is your first time watching my channel, welcome all my returning beautifuls. Hey, thanks for clicking that beautiful play button. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Click that red button and subscribe. But beautifuls, I'm just Jackie. I am 46 years young and I am in full blown menopause. Okay, so I just wanted to come up here and, you know, share with my beautiful. Some of the things I've been going through that I've been past, you know, just going through menopause, you know what I'm saying? So, first of all, let me say, I've been going through menopause probably since at least 33, between 33 and 35. That's when I started menopause. That's when I really started noticing the changes in my cycles and just, just, just other things too, you know. Um, I think I explained this in the previous video. They did all the tests. The doctor was like, "You're too young. It's probably it might be thyroids and all that stuff." So they did all the testing and everything. Nah. So anyway, by the time I was forty, well, I would say about forty when I went, when I hit forty, I was in full blown menopause because I hadn't even had a cycle in like maybe two years or a year at least you know a year or two whatever so when i went for my follow-up that year you know I, I doctor was like oh when is your last cycle i was like uh oh, i had a cycle and blah blah whoop the boom and he was like oh no nah. i was like uh oh, we had this conversation before dude i said i've been full blown it's just full blown you know hot flashes all that stuff night sweats whatever so anyway they did the test and he was like oh yeah you, you definitely i was like Duh. So anyway, with all that being said, there were things that I experienced and things, things that I knew I was experiencing. Then there was things that I didn't know I was experiencing. And one of the things I realized I didn't realize I was experiencing was weight gain, weight gain. So due to the fact that I started so early, and I, you know, it was like going through that time, you know, your metabolism slows down. So you're automatically thinking that, yeah, I, I need to get more active because I know I'm mid thirties and I know my metabolism is slowing down. Then, you know, I'm looking at my body. I can tell my body is not looking like it used to prior to the three kids. Yes, I have three beautiful kids. So it's like, yeah, I just thought I was just, you know, gaining weight because of, maturity right but going into full-blown menopause and starting menopause at an early age did not help with this factor but i didn't realize it back then so uh weight gain in menopause is a real thing y'all it's a real thing ladies um if anybody's going through menopause you, you know you're starting to experience symptoms and everything start doing your research now and hopefully it can help you you know maintain balance and do some preventative maintenance, um, you know, like, unlike me, I didn't do any preventative maintenance. I just went with the flow. Only thing I was focusing on was hot flashes, hot flashes, just trying to ease the comfort from hot flashes. That, that was my thing because I didn't, I wasn't thinking that weight gain was menopause was affecting weight gain. Right. So with all that being said, guys, <sighs> Your girl gained like just over the upteen years, my weight fluctuated terribly. The only time I really lost weight when I was stressing, when I was going through something severe, major in my life, right? So for the most part, I topped at um, I'm gonna say I topped at about two twenty. Yeah, probably about two twenty, two twenty five. I topped at that, and that was like recently. That was that was like between. Uh, 2019 and, and 2020, I topped at that. And, um, <laughs> but y'all, I think a girl was in denial. I, I was not seeing all this, this weight gain. But then again, I was seeing the nice full, the nice uh, thick thighs, the nice butt, you know, because I didn't have all that. When I was a little young with a snap, I was like this, straight up and down, bean pole. So I wasn't even paying attention to, the mid, mid, I was paying it. I was looking at the midsection, but I didn't care about the midsection because I was like looking at all the other, the other things that was blossoming in between. But at some point, when you're listen, when your Audi is now an any, you know, it's a, a difference, guys. It's, it's really, 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 really a major difference, right? So, 
my thing is emotionally I wasn't affected at first because again I didn't realize so I, I was just you know focused on hot flashes and you know everything I, I think I had like maybe two or three pivotal points in my life when I realized about the weight gain but I still did you know in the, the first time I didn't really realize it was the menopause I'm still thinking it's just you know I'm getting older and, and metabolism slower but I've always had an athletic build guys you know I ran track I did volleyball you know, I played football with the guys in the neighborhood. You know, I was very active. So, you know, so I'm used to seeing my body a certain way. Even after three kids, I my body bounced back. You know what I'm saying? So, so one day I went to put on my favorite pair of jeans, beautiful, my favorite pair of jeans. And I was, you know, we all got that go-to pair of jeans that we just love so much. So, you know, I put them on. You know, I get to the thigh area. I already knew the thigh area was going to be, you know, you know, because, I, you know, big thighs save lives. I was, you know, my thighs had already got very thick by then so it is so I, you know i pull them up i go to zip up and do the button thing and i was like i button it up and i'm just like woo very 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 uncomfortable discomfort felt like uh somebody was taking some kind of rope and tightening it and tightening and tightening around my waistline and then i looked down and i and like the upper part of my stomach was like a muffin top and it was hanging i was like oh i was like oh wow i was like uh, I was like, uh, that that's when the weight gain like finally, finally hit me. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, I really wasn't, and I didn't do anything about. It. You know what so I yeah, did? I just bought bigger clothes. I mean, you know, like I said, just a normal thing in life. You know, you get older, you get bigger, whatever. And again, I wasn't trying to exercise or anything because in my I don't know. Two and two was not four at that point in time. So fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, going through ups and downs with weight and everything. Very content. I I think it I think it didn't bother me as much because I was uh, I was okay with it. I was content. The thing was, I think the it was my midsection. Like if as long as I felt like my midsection was in a certain state and it looked a certain way, I was fine with having bigger chest, thicker arms, thicker thighs, all that stuff, bigger butt. I was fine with all that stuff. All right. So it, listen, when you've been, when you've had an Audi, an Audi belly button all your life, now your Audi is an any because you know, your, my stomach has, you know, has glown, you know, has, has built up fat. And then now I don't have my little cute little Audi like I used to have. Now it's just an any. So, yeah. And then I want to say the thing that, I don't know. I don't know. I can't pinpoint like one thing that just made me say, hey, do this and stick with it. It was more like, a, um, honestly, it was in, it's in 2020. No. What is this? Okay, this is 2020. So it was in 2019, right? So 2019, um, uh, helping with organizing an event um, that was happening in Vegas. And the thing was, I know I wanted to look cute for Vegas. I know I wanted to wear like some real nice, you know, sexy outfits and stuff. And, you know, just look just right. You know, everything, cool, 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 pow, 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 boom. And I want to say... um. Me and my friend, we we all um, we we did this thing together. It's like so. It's like hey, both of us trying to make sure we straight papers when we go to this event. We look good, we feel good, and everything. So we was keeping us each other accountable. So I want to say it's been probably been about about a year now. Yeah, about August twenty nineteen. That's what made me want to be accountable. Um, start being accountable for my weight and it's decades late it's like a decade later after i started menopause and stuff you know what i'm saying so it was tough guys it was tough like maintaining and and staying consistent but you know i was able to do it and i really started at it's like let me tell you something like when i started covid hit a few months later you know what I'm saying? So gyms closed because, you know, I have a gym here in my community. Um, you know, it just turned everything upside down. 
started working from home because I had this routine. Like when I was at work, I had this routine. So I just stuck with my routine for lunch and breakfast and I was, and I could tell I was, you know, weight was falling off and, you know, maintaining and, you know, just, um, you know, working on myself, working on my weight. And then COVID happened. So then I started picking up weight again because like either habits change your home all day. And then I couldn't go to my workout classes either that I was going out to going to because COVID. So anywho, with all that being said, I feel like some things happen for a reason. I've been blessed, you know, gift, been blessed. I had to get that light off me. Been blessed, y'all, gift and the curse and all that stuff. I feel like black, COVID has been a gift and COVID has been a curse. Yeah, I got a major, major, major tan, major side, total sidebar, you know, no makeup. I'm just like my whole chocolatey face and everything we here so anyway but i just so happened to come across this company called Watopia, and they had a um, campaign going on for women experiencing menopause and if you guys have been watching my previous videos y'all know about it but i wanted to bring this up again because this has really helped with um my weight loss and you know um, easing the discomfort from other menopausal symptoms. So this is called, the first thing I did was the T-Tox boost, right? And like I, and like I mentioned before, I, I believe it was 15 or 14 days. You do the T-Tox boost and it's a great detox. I have posted my before and afters. Um, I will leave that link, the, the link to that video in the, in the description box below. And then after the 14, 15 day detox, then you start doing the, the mental slim tea. So the mental slim tea helps. It, it's like, so the, the tea tox is just what it says, a booster. So it stimulates the process. It stimulates the process, to, the process. So you can actually see like, you know, some results, um, you know, quickly. Right. And then the, the slim tea helps back up the booster. And again, watch the video because you will see the difference in my weight okay because it really works and it has been it has been a godsend to me um for multiple reasons because it's helping with my helping me maintain my weight and it's helping with the hot flashes the nights so all that's of night sweats and like all the it, the hormonal imbalances with low you know with the low estrogen it helps with the estrogen it just it just all it just does a lot of stuff guys without going into major detail with these two check out the video that's going to be in the link below okay so all that being said with all that being said <sighs> there is a solution out there i don't you know might not be as the solution for you, but I say try it. Try these solutions. The first thing is own the fact that we were gaining this weight. Cause I think I was just in La La Land, delusional land for the longest time, not realizing my weight gain was due to going through menopause. But I didn't do no no. I never did research on menopause. I don't know why I didn't research it. I didn't start researching it until. I was in my 40s and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I should have started researching it when I first started going through the symptoms. So that's my first big advice to you guys. You start going through the symptoms. Your doctor's telling you, hey, you're going starting to go through menopause. Start researching it and everything. I never want to do prescription drugs. Everything's always been all natural. And and the, well, the Welltopia brand has great, great options for all natural products to help ease this excuse me ease discomfort of your um your menopause so yeah um yeah but i just wanted to come up here and share this with my beautifuls and you know tell y'all about my fluck you know my ups and downs with the, the the weight gain and the weight loss and and right now i'm just maintaining a healthy weight i'm really maintaining a healthy healthy weight i'm happy um and i can just tell the difference in my face and in my figure with where I'm at with my weight. And um another sign that another sign that I had about the the weight gain was my knees. Like in going up and downstairs is my knees started 
just aching because my body wasn't used to carrying that weight. I'm a girl that was a buck 25, that buck 25 for the longest time. And then I want to say after I had my third child, my, my weight probably was about 130 or whatever. So you have to think, think about that. I've never... And then, you know, as I got older, and like I said, the heaviest girls, I was 225, 222, 25. I know I don't look it. I carry my weight well. But, you know, I was, that's, that was me. So now I'm at a good 190, 195. So that's where I'm at right now. My goal weight is to stay in between 190, 195. If I can hit, if I could do 185, 195, I'm, I'm cool with that too. You know, so if I get down to 180, that would be interesting. I don't think I don't even think I want to be 180 to be honest with you, but you know, you know what do you call it that BMI or whatever thing. Doctor says that's probably like the best range for me right there. But anyway, beautiful. That is my story. That is my journey for you know dealing with you know full menopause and everything that comes with menopause. It's not just like all we hear about is hot flashes and night sweats and stuff and like. You know, we get a little loopy and we get a little irritable and all that stuff. Is Weight gain is a, a major part of menopause as well. So thanks for hanging with me. Check out the video links in the description box below. Make sure you check out Wiltopia because it's been working wonders for me, beautiful. So until the next video, deuces.